G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Today, we're going to look at the fastest way of going through and doing time and work questions. That is, you'll be able to solve these in under five seconds. So let's launch into an example and see how you go. So we have Adam can do a job in 12 days. Bob can do the same job in six days. How long will it take them to complete the job if they work together? So what about you pause the video and give this a go? Yeah, maybe you don't need to. Maybe you can do this in under five seconds. Well, let's see how you go. By the way, this job will take them four days. If you've worked it out and you got that, well done. But right now I'm going to show you how to go through and do this the fastest way. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to look at the number of days that each one of these guys do. Uh, Adam here does 12 days. We have Bob who does the same job in six days. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the number of days that Adam takes and we're going to multiply it by the number of days that Bob takes. So let's do this. We have 12 multiplied by six. And that's nice and easy. That equals 72. Cool. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the number of days that Adam takes and we're going to add it to the number of days that Bob takes. So nice and simple once again, that's 12 plus six. 12 plus six is equal to 18. Finally, to get our answer, we're going to get our first result and divide it by the second result. That is to say, 72 divided by 18, that is equal to four days. All together, that's how you can do this really quickly. And like you can see, with a bit of practice, you'll be able to do this easy under five seconds. You'll be able to smash these out. So what about we have a look at another example? In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to start by having a look at a tweaked example of this, where you can work a little bit backwards, and then we're going to have a look at where we involve three people and how you can adapt this trick to solve that sort of question. So let's have a look at this. And by the way, if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button, all that good stuff. So let's have a look at the second example. Adam can do a job in 30 days. Adam and Bob can do the same job in six days. How long will it take Bob to do the job all by his Pat Malone, all by himself? What about you pause the video and give this a go? And you done that? Let's have a look on how you do this. So before what we did is we got the number of days that Adam took and we multiplied it by the number of days that Bob took. And we divided this by the number of days that Adam took plus the number of days that Bob took. And this gave us Adam and Bob working together the number of days they took. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to tweak this around a bit. We're going to substitute in our values and then treat this like an algebra equation, which is exactly what it will be, but don't freak out about that. So let's substitute in our values here. A is the number of days that Adam takes. It's 30. So we have 30, and that's being multiplied by the number of days that Bob takes. That is going to stay as B. We don't know what that is equal to. So 30B. And this is all going to go over A plus B. That is 30 plus B. We don't know what B is once again. And this is equal to the number of days it takes them working together. So the number of days it takes them working together, that is six days. So let's go through and use algebra to solve this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this 30 plus B over to the right hand side over here. And I'm going to multiply both sides by 30 plus B to do that. If I do that, I get 30 B on this left hand side here and it gets rid of the 30 B on this part here because we're multiplying by that. And this is going to be equal to well, 6 multiplied by 30 plus b. 6 times 30 is 180, and 6 times b is 6b. So we have to multiply both of those parts. Now what we're going to do is get the b's by themselves. Okay, we're going to do that by subtracting 6b off both sides. Okay, so 6b off 30b is going to be 24b, and that's going to equal 180. And if we get rid of 6b on this uh, right-hand side here, we get rid of it right there. Cool, we got 24b equals 180. Now what we can do is we can solve for b. b is going to be equal to 180 divided by 24. So it takes old Bob all by himself seven and a half days. Is that what you got? If you did, congratulations. Give yourself a big thumbs up. What about we have a look at the third question now? So this one involves three different people. We have Adam can do a job in 10 days. Bob can do the same job in 15 days. Connie can do the same job in 12 days. How many days will it take them to complete the job working together? So we're going to use the same idea that we used in the first question, but we're going to just extend it a little bit. So instead of just multiplying just Adam times Bob, we're going to do this. We're going to multiply the days taken by Adam, Bob, and Connie all together. So this is going to equal 10 multiplied by 15 
multiplied by 12, which is equal to, nice and simple, 15 times 12. If you look at any of my other videos, this is a really simple question. 15 times 12 is 180, times 10 is equal to 1,800. That's all going to be divided by, like before, we just tweak what we were doing before. So first off, A is going to be multiplied by C. We're going to add that to A being multiplied by B, and then we have B being multiplied by C. So you can see that pattern there. It's a nice simple one, and that's the tweak we use to solve these ones. So let's do that. A multiplied by C, we have 10 multiplied by 12 is 120. We have A multiplied by B, 10 multiplied by 15 is 150. And finally, we have B multiplied by C, 15 multiplied by 12, that is 180. So this leaves us with 1,800 divided by, well, 120 plus 150 is 270, plus 180 is 450. So 1,800 divided by 450, this would take them all working together four days. So what did you think of that? Did you like this? If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and maybe even leave me a comment telling me what you thought about it. Was it helpful? If you did find it helpful, please let me know. And also, if you want to support the Tech Math channel, like my lovely, lovely, lovely patrons, you could consider becoming a patron of the Tech Math channel. There is a link in the description below. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.